Well, folks, it is that time of year again. The brand new FIFA is here. Everyone and their nan is looking for the best cheap squad option. What is going to get you wins? What is quality? And what is most of all fun to play with? I've done you a massive courtesy here. I've put together the ultimate cheap squad. I'm talking incredibly cheap. 50,000 coins this squad cost me. My God, guys. My God. Thank me after you've watched this video because I'm going to go through the whole tactics setup, the formation, the squad. Guys, this squad is, is insane. It's insane. I have a 187 that I'm using with Shevchenko and Messi. The squad plays better than that. Believe it or not, we are going to be having plenty of FIFA content coming out on the channel. So if FIFA is your thing, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon so you know whenever we upload because our content is going to be gold like this video. Guys, I'm dropping some serious knowledge bombs up in here, guys. You're not going to want to miss out. Make sure you stay tuned for the whole video to understand how to win games. Boom. Let's go. Right then, family. First things first, let's get this formation sorted out. We've gone for the 4-2-3-1. Deadly formation. I love how you have the narrow attack there. The team's playing super close together. Look how narrow this is. The wingers are playing a bit more inverted. Very nice there for scoring goals, creating chances, and just getting them balls through. We'll start in goal though. We have gone for Mr. 82 rated Areola. What a keeper, guys. You're not getting better than this at a budget keeper. Keeping the basic stat on him. Look at these, man. Look at these. When he gets the 10, when he gets the 10 chemistry, guys, his uh his diving's up to 90, his handling's up to 84, his kicking's up to 85, his reflexes are up to 89. The guy's a crazy keeper. Get him in your squad. Centre back, we've gone for Mr. Bowley. Solid defender. Solid defender. We've gone ahead and chucked on a shadow on him. Increase that pace and defending stats. His partner is going to be Kurt Zuma. Very nice. Right back position, we have gone for Mr. Mukiele. Fantastic right back. Very fast, very aggressive. Can defend, can attack. I think he's got a few assists, has he? He's got two assists in seven games. You know, standard right back, 80 rated. You can't complain. You can't complain. Affordable. Left back, we've gone for Mr. Luca Digna. Uh, one assist. Uh, he's been solid for my team. Uh, very reasonable price. We paid, uh, where's the price? Paid 5,000 coins for him. A bit of class there. There's a few other players we could have gone for, but I went for the class factor. Uh, he can get a good ball out and deliver it correctly. In the center mid position, we have gone for Mr. Nkunku on the left center mid. Nkunku. I have to pronounce that correctly. Nkunku. On the left center mid position, being a right footed player, he can play the ball. To the right side, you know what I'm saying. Get some nice passes in. Played very well for the club. Played seven games, four assists, one goal. Great player. Four star skill moves, three star weak foot. Let's him down a little bit. But overall, 80 rate right player. You're paying 2,000 coins for him, 84 dribbling. Decent stats for defending. 69, 65 physical. Okay. Not a defending player. But if he needs to, he can defend. He can defend. More of an attacking threat. With the pass and the pace there. Good, good player. The right centre mid now. We have gone for Mr. Lamer. This guy, 85 pace, 68 shot, 78 passing, 78 dribbling, 80 defending, 77 physical. An all-round midfielder. A box-to-box -box midfielder here. Do not shoot with him, though. Do not shoot with him. Good at setting up the chances. One assist, but honestly... I was using him more as a defensive player because of those favorable defensive stats. Plays very well, very well in this position. Now, center of the park, this guy is the man of my dreams, Zakaria. Oh my days, guys. Oh my days. Not only does he defend, he creates, he scores, he's a playmaker, he's an absolute boss. Zakaria, bro, I love you. 83 pace, 64 shooting, felt higher. It felt higher, 75 passing, 85 physical, 81 defending, 78 dribbling. Fantastic defender. I use this guy as my all and out CDM. Fast enough to get forward and counter. Fast enough to get back when he's overcommitted forward. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant player. 
at the price of 20k guys this is the most expensive guy in the squad and he is worth every single penny i slapped on the catalyst on there for the pace upgrade and for the passing upgrade takes him to a 93 pacing game jeez anyway right forward we have gone for mr karim bellarabi <laughs> what an attacker guys Played seven games scored seven goals seven games seven goals two assists the guy is an out and out attacker do not get in the way of this guy when he's going through on goal because he's about to score nine times out of ten or he's going to set up a goal or he's going to do something that's going to put the opposition in some form of danger guys what a right forward player what a winger he is all for the price of 2k brilliant player four star skill moves unfortunately three star weak foot but it's not really too noticeable not really too noticeable in my opinion on the left side of the pitch we have gone for mr leon bailey now let's look at these stats guys <laughs> played seven games scored five goals six assists guys six assists for this guy seven games they're pretty good stats they're pretty good stats he's either assisting a, a goal and scoring a goal in every single game four star skill moves four star weak for 90 pace did it 94 pace sorry didn't need to slap on a pace increase there so we could just focus on his shooting and his passing which made the difference took his stats all the way up man nice addition there made him into a little bit more of a goal threat great addition and finally guys the striker wow I've been dreaming about Zakaria at night, like I mentioned before with this guy's stats. This, this guy's insane. The striker, on the other hand, take about Mr. Rashika. Guys, I'm just going to let the stats do the talking. Seven games, scored 12 goals, <laughs> assisted five. The guy is a monster. You need to go and sign him right now. Right now. Put that catalyst on him. Gave him a 98 pace overall. Gave him an 84 passing. His finishing was fine. I didn't need to touch that. Four star skill moves. Four star weak foot. Jesus. <laughs> the guy is insane. The guy is insane. Check out these stats, man. Check out these stats. We maxed out his acceleration. Pretty much maxed out his sprint speed. His passing was great, which means he could assist the goals. The build-up play was beautiful, which I would always recommend, guys. That's why all my players have got catalysts on them. Passing and pace is so, so, so important in FIFA 21. In fact, it's meta. It's meta to have pace and passing ability. That's why they've either got shadow on or they've got catalyst. If they're fast enough, I didn't do anything. And the keeper, like I said, look at this plus five everywhere. Takes his stats up into crazy land, guys. Takes his stats up into crazy land. Now, for custom tactics, all I had to do was simply leave everything on balance and just tell Zakaria to stay back while attacking. Get Bellarabi to cut in. Whatever that is. The wrong one. To get in behind. Get Bailey to get in behind. And... Mr. Dinya to join the attack and for Mr. Mukele to join the attack guys. The car is going to drop back and cover them positions when they're out of position. No problems at all and we absolutely destroyed some teams. In fact, I would call this team the controller smashers. The controller smashers. That's how good they were guys. I'm not going to do any more talking now. We're going to let the gameplay do the talking for you. What a team what a team so no further ado guys let me show you why i was so hyped about this team oh my lord it was a team that made me feel dangerous i felt like every time i was going through on goal i was about to score or you know something was gonna happen there was gonna be a crazy save made should have been a goal leon should have been a goal mate but what a player mr bailey is it wasn't just the stupidness of the attacking though that got me about this team guys it was a solid defending i felt stable when they were attacking they tried to play ball through my defense we were stopping them coming through the keeper was saving shots on target 
the counter attack pace was blazing. Honestly, the counter attack was the cherry on top. This team could get from one side of the pitch to the other in no time at all and inflict serious damage. The team just seemed to gel together really well. Uh, we had lots of players taking on different responsibilities. So a lot of the time the midfielder players, you know, would play in the more defensive roles when it was required and then would bust a gut to get through an attack on goal, cause problems for the opposition. This team is so fun. Bowley, you absolute beast. So yeah, as you just saw, defensively incredibly solid. The odd occasion they do my defender, but it's good to know we got someone very talented in the sticks. Ariola was saving everything we come up against. No matter the quality, he could really make them saves happen. Great keeper on a budget. You've got to get him in your club if you're looking to save some coins, guys. I cannot emphasize that enough. Leave on the basic style on him. He's going to get plus five to all his stats. Beautiful interlocking play here. Bellarabi with the finish, something we've become so used to seeing. This front line is actually insane. The only way I could describe these players is meta favorable. The fair, oh, I'm dreaming about this guy tonight. I'm dreaming about this guy tonight. So I love this goal because it just shows the chemistry of the team playing together. Just a bunch of one-two passes, tiki-taka football, ending with a goal, sensational. So just to emphasize there guys, big and strong defense, not to be challenged in the air. Here we have Big Man breaking through on goal, using that pace, smashing that finish, come on. Bringing us 3-3 to draw. Big up my guy Rashika, man. God, what an absolute don. Again, not the most difficult of saves, but nice to see Ariola standing up tall, deflecting that shot and getting the clearance away. So this actually turned out to be quite a nail biting game, and honestly, guys, 4 3 in the 8th, 9th minute, thanks to a Leon Bailey goal. Fantastic assist by Lema there. But my guy then gets awarded a penalty in the dying minutes of the game. Ariola standing up tall, making that save, comes the hero of the show, winning the game 4-3. Thanks to my man Ariola in goal. Big love to you, bro. Big respect. I appreciate what you've done for the Jed fam. Two minutes into the game and Rashika gives you this look. You know it's a goal. You know it's a goal. I'm just blown away by how well this team performs. I'm just blown away. It was just goals on goals on goals. Rage quit after rage quit. Consistent finish after consistent finish. Absolute dream to play with, guys. Get this team right now. Start winning your games on a budget. Beautiful. I mean, just look at that finishing. This is a 79 rated card. He hasn't got any adjustments on his shooting. The attacking options were genuinely endless. There was always someone in the box ready to score a goal. And that is one thing I just loved about this team. It was just so pacey, so aggressive, just dangerous. Here he is, Rashika securing the match ball. Hat-trick hero, finishing them as often as they come. But it gets better. He sets them up as well. <laughs> Bailey's pace getting him there on time, getting a nice finish away. I think that's it. Think again, we got one more. Zakaria picking out Bailey in the box. Bada boom, bada bing. 7 3, we shall win. Come on. And yet again, a mere six minutes into the game, Bellarabi is through on goal. Lobs the keeper this time. What a cheeky boy. Jeez, Bellarabi, mate. You need to pipe down. Show some respect, mate. Show some respect. So in the 25th minute now, breaking through on goal again. Deflected shot from Bailey. Rashika doing a defender with a delicious finish with the side foot. Hitting the post and going in. Rashika, mate, you ought to come to mind for dinner Sunday. I've got to show you some respect. Lamer there winning the ball high up the pitch, causing that high press. Bringing back the attack. Ariola rushing out of goal to save that. 
very nice, very nice. Fantastic midfield link up there. We got Rashika through on goal. And of course, he's going to finish 3-0, dub in the bag. And that pretty much sums up why you should buy this team. I mean, for 50k, guys, the squad is impeccable. The talent is there. The ability to finish is there. The defensive acumen is there. Guys, get this squad now. Start taking them dubs, man. Start taking them dubs. Guys, you have to try this team. You've seen the footage, you've seen how I've laid them out, you've seen the tactics that we're using. This team is unstoppable, especially in this stage of the game. Very OP, very meta players. Focus on the passing, the pace, and the goals will come. When it comes to defending, just sit back, sit back, sit back. Let your opponent come to you. Lead them on towards you. Wait for them to make the mistake. Retrieve the ball, counter attack, fast, fast, fast. That is it. That is the secret to FIFA 21. That is the secret. That is literally all there is. Don't push the attackers. Wait for them to come to you. Win the ball. Counter attack. This team did it so well and that's why we're so successful. Pace on the wings. Strength in midfield. Good defense. That's it. That's it really. That's all there is to it. But guys, that is the first squad builder episode. Guys, we're going to have plenty more squad builders coming. Stay tuned to the channel. We're going to be doing all kinds of hybrids. All kinds of leagues. Different prices, different players, all of that stuff, guys. We're going to be doing player reviews. There's a lot of FIFA 21 content coming to the channel, guys. I'm pumped. I cannot wait. Until next time, guys, take care, peace, and love.